Hey guys, it's me Jazz. Welcome to week 35. Well, actually week 35 in a day. I was supposed to do my video yesterday, but I was like so tired. I was like, I mean exhausted and I just couldn't do it. So I still wanted to bring my video to you guys and do a video. So here it is. First of all, my phone, this Samsung Epic 4G thing, I think it's a cool phone, but it sucks with this Android application thing because my Android software or whatever went out and I put all my notes about everything that happens during the week and it totally went out and they had to like redo my software. So I'm going to try to go off the top of my head and make it as quick as possible. Um, because there's some things, a lot of things I need to go over and some things I probably think I, forget, I will forget, but I'll try my best to remember them. Anyways, as you see, my look is a little bit different. I did a weave. I put a weave in my hair or I decided to wear weaves for the rest of the duration of my pregnancy and probably, um, probably for a few months after that too. Um, instead of relaxing my whole entire head and all that kind of stuff. So... I did do a weave. It's 12 inches, just in case you weave lovers out there wanted to know. Um, I got some of my eyelash. It's the chocolate. It's the cho it's the chocolate collection. Excuse me, tongue tied by Evertress. So this is what I'm using on my hair. I like it because it looks natural. What I mean is like it like it could be my hair. Um, it doesn't look fake and it doesn't shed a lot. So far, it's been pretty good. I've had it in my head just for a few days though, but I do really like it. So this is what I have in my head, and that's what's been going on with my hair and what I've decided to do with it. So I'm glad that I made this decision. Um, let's see, symptoms. Oh my gosh. My feet are swollen, y'all. I'm looking at them right now, and it's swollen. Like, my feet are not the same. I feel like I have the prettiest feet, but my feet are swollen. I wish I could show them to you. <laughs> Let me see if I can show y'all my feet. Y'all gonna be like, what the hell? Look at this. This is my left foot. Look at my foot. It's swollen, see? It almost looks like I got elephantitis. And I, I really have pretty feet, I think, when they're not swollen like this. But look at that. Look at this foot. See? My feet are swollen, <laughs> but, and then they hurt sometimes, but my doctor said that swelling is normal, especially during this time, but if I start getting dizzy, feeling faint, or seeing spots, and all this other kind of stuff, and rapid heartbeat, and all that, then I need to go get seen, but my feet are just amazingly swollen, and I, this is amazing to me, but I don't have any of those other symptoms, so I'm fine, but... I know I sit down a lot. Maybe I need to walk more to stop the swelling. And, of course, drink water, which I try to do as much as possible. But, yeah, that's one of my symptoms, swollen feet. Um, but every, other than that, like, look, my arms are fine. I'm not swollen my arms. They're normal size. See? Everything else is thin except for my belly. See? My face doesn't look swollen. Does it look swollen to you guys? I look normal, but it's my feet. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Um, let's see. What else symptoms do I have that's been going on? Um, other than that, extreme fatigue. Just really, really, really tired. But I hadn't took my vitamins for a couple days. And the reason why is because it has so much iron in there, y'all. It will back you up. So I take my vitamins Monday through Friday. And then I don't take them Saturday and Sunday. But I, I missed Friday and Monday. <laughs> So I think that's probably why I'm tired. Um, let's see, what else is my symptoms? I've been kind of like, you know, attitudinal, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why, it's just like, y'all know I love my boyfriend Nate to death. I love that man, but I don't know, it's just this week he's been getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's just be stupid stuff, like I just get irritated with it, don't make sense. But yeah, that and then what else symptoms been going on? Oh, a little bit of extra discharge. It's not a whole lot, but I am noticing like, ooh, this is some extra discharge going on. 
Um, let me see. Anything else weird going on? No. I noticed that my belly has gotten much bigger. Like, my mom was saying, like, Jasmine, your belly is really much bigger. And I'm like, no, it's not. And then I looked one morning, and I was like, I can't see my feet. Like, in the shower, I can't see my feet at all. It's, like, just all belly. My jeans don't even fit the way that they used to fit. Like, I, I have a size, a pair of 9, 10 jeans. Originally, I was a 7, 8, and then I lost weight, and I was a 5, 6 in juniors. I can't fit the 9, 10 jeans all like that. Like, they have to stay, like, unbuttoned, and I have to wear that band thing. So, oh, my gosh. That's what's going on. Um, let's see, what else can I think of on the top of my head about my symptoms? Extremely hungry. I am hungry all the time, and no matter how much I eat, it don't seem like it's satisfying me at all. It's like, I'm still hungry, I need to eat, eat, eat. Um, what else? Oh, out of breath. Yeah, I get out of breath, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even walk fast. In the parking lot where I work at, it usually would take me about a minute and I mean less than a minute to get inside the building it now takes me two and a half minutes I can't walk fast I gotta walk slow and then I get out of breath oh my gosh like there's just bits where I just bits of time where I just be out of breath I just can't breathe and I have asthma and my mom been telling me I need to go ahead and order my new my other inhaler just in case and I haven't done it yet but I will do that next week mom um let's see other than that, that's really it, guys, as far as my symptoms are concerned. No, no, like, weird cravings, but I think I can honestly say throughout this whole pregnancy, the most consistent cravings have been lemonade, like Minute Maid lemonade, pink lemonade, or, you know, lemonade. I love lemonade and Italian food. I love Italian food. Spaghetti, pizza, chicken fettuccine alfredo, shrimp scampi. I mean, well, I don't think that's Italian, is it? <laughs> shrimp parmesan stuff, you know, like, I love Italian food, like, and pastas and cheeses and sauces. Like, that is all that I love. Like, here where I live, they opened up this restaurant called Piatta's, and it's just like, it's like a Chipotle, except for it's an Italian version where you can go through the line and the only difference is you know at Chipotle's if you say they give you the little little scoop they give you the little scoop of chicken and you ask for some more they're gonna charge you extra no at Piata's you get extra everything for $6.95 you can pal in your little bowl well it's not little but in your bowl how much you want all right so yes Italian food um so that's it with symptoms and cravings and things like that Nothing else has really changed. I've still been using my lotions, trying to keep from getting stretch marks. Um, I have noticed my skin is a little bit get, getting a little bit drier, especially my feet. My feet just, I lotion them and I put lotion on them and I use that cream. But my feet still feel really dry. Like they just get dry towards, the, excuse me, towards the end of the day. Um, also, I've been very gassy too. Yeah. Um, okay, that's it with symptoms. Emotions. I'm getting very, other than my attitude with Nate, I'm getting emotional. I'm getting to the point where the closer that day gets for my daughter to come into the world, I know that my time is running out here where I live and I'm going to have to relocate to Atlanta. And my mom and my sisters and my family and my brother is here, my immediate family that is. They are my favorite aunties and uncles that are in Atlanta, but it's nothing like having your mom. And I'm just getting sad that I'm leaving. Now, the first time I left, now that I look back, I look at it like I did not leave for the right reasons. You know what I mean? Like, I was just wanting to leave, follow my little dreams that I had, which I still have. But I just wanted to leave. I was getting, you know, irritated with my mom and family. And I just wanted to just do Jasmine, you know? And then things didn't work out. So I came back, rekindled my relationship with my mom and it wasn't just stuff that you know happened at that time it was just just period from our whole entire relationship as from me being a teen up until me coming back and things have gotten way better and I feel like now that my relationship with my mom is where I think it needs to be for the both of us and um, where she wants it to be like we're just so tight like 
so close and my sisters and my brothers like I want them to have that relationship with my daughter and me being there I'm not gonna be able to have that relationship I'm not gonna be able to call my mom like I can call like I can call her right now and just have her come over if I need her you know what I mean I'm going to miss them I'm trying not to get emotional but it's just like I realize how much my mom really loves me and how much I really love my mom and how much I really need her and now I'm not you know gonna have her she's just gonna have to visit or I come up here to visit and I don't want to leave her but I have my own family now and you know I have to do what's best for my family I guess so that's what I've been kind of dealing with is that whole emotional thing yeah on a lighter note <laughs> I have my baby shower coming up and it is going to be this Saturday and I am so happy because it is going to be perfect weather, 0% chance of rainy showers and I'm so excited about it. Um, at first my baby shower was um, leaning more towards the, you know, real relaxed, laid back, you know, just chill event, not too many decorations or anything like that and it ended up turning into a dainty party. I don't know how it happened. I took some ideas from what I've seen on YouTube and some Martha Stewart ideas. So I'm thinking about doing a video about the different um, designs, I mean different designs, different decorations and things like that I'm going to have. Or I might just do the video of the baby shower and you guys see it. Either way though, it's going to be recorded and you guys will be able to see my baby shower. Um, Nathaniel did my invitations I did get my invitations and they are absolutely beautiful and everybody loves them so much and people want to keep them as keepsakes five more weeks to go guys and my mom I told her I was like well my method the baby showers here's gonna be 36 weeks and I have four more to go and she said or two and it hit me like oh my god my daughter can come at any time um, and she moves a lot she moves a lot like, I mean, a lot. And it's to the point where I'm starting to feel kind of bad because I'm like, I'm so tiny. And I just feel like she don't have no room. You know what I mean? I'm like, poor baby. She just sometimes feel like she's just like, God, I can't move anywhere. I'm uncomfortable, you know? So, hopefully, you know, she bakes long enough. And when God see fit for her to come out, she'll come out. Also, I had my um, doctor's appointment. My, um, I was 34 weeks at the time that I had my doctor's appointment. And, um, first of all, it had to get rescheduled because that day for a later time because he had to deliver a baby. But it went really well. Doctor's appointments now are becoming really quick. It's not something where, you know, they got to do all this research or anything like that or ask you all these questions. But... Basically, what we discussed was, you know, my swollen feet, and he said it was normal, and again, as long as I didn't have those symptoms. Um, he checked the baby's heartbeat. Her heartbeat was beating super, super fast in a good way. Not like super fast, but it was just like boom, 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 boom. So that was good. Had a very strong, she had a very strong heartbeat. Um, and then, towards, I noticed that some doctors will get towards, you know, the end of your pregnancy or whatever, they'll begin to ask you more questions about how you're feeling. And that's what he asked me. I'm 85% close to, I'm 85% done with 15% 15 more to go. And the question they asked me was, how are you feeling? And the truth is, I'm scared. I told him I was scared as hell. Not to be a mother, but for the labor part. I'm scared about labor because it's like, I, how do I know I'm in labor, I guess, and also like I'm scared of like the delivery like I have a tendency to freak and psych myself out like I will think stuff over and over and over again and this will just have a panic attack you know what I mean and I'm afraid that I will do that where I would be like oh my god I'm in labor oh my god what's gonna happen am I gonna die am I gonna be okay oh my god you know what I mean like I will do that to myself over and over again and literally psych myself out and so he told me that it's gonna be okay you know and you know, I'm like, you know, while I, while I get paralyzed with the epidural, you know, I was just thinking all kind of crazy stuff and I told him. And he said, labor, going into labor and being pregnant, all that kind of stuff is like, the analogy he uses is like being on a roller coaster ride. You're in line, you're like, yeah, I'm so excited. You get on the ride, 
and you're like, oh, this is gonna be so cool. And then you start going up that climax, you know, when you go up that real big hill, and then you start thinking to yourself, what the hell have I done? Oh my God, get me off of here. You gotta do something, help me please. And then you go down the hill and you're like, ah, screaming and oh my God, you're so like, you know, like just can't believe everything that's happening. But when you get up the ride, you're like, whoa, that was just so cool. And then it's over. So I thought that was a good analogy for my situation, for me. Because I was like, you know what, that's a good analogy. Fine. But if you don't like roller coasters, that wasn't a good analogy. <laughs> but um, so we talked about that. That made me feel a lot better. Um, another thing is I failed on Sunday. How did Jasmine fall? Jasmine fell because there was a bug in my house. I ain't got no roaches or nothing like that. Because I looked at that bug. I said, I know there ain't no roach. It was a big, huge cricket. How did a cricket get into my house? I have no idea. But anyway, so what happened was, I caught myself trying to be a good Samaritan upon the insect community. And I was going to just carry him outside in a cup and put him, you know, outside with the rest of his friends and his buddies. But when I went to, you know, go to him and put him in the cup, this, <laughs> this bug leaped at me. And then it kept jumping and jumping. And I was like, oh, oh. And then, like, I turned around and I just took off. But I have real, I forgot that I have so much more weight on me now and that my center of gravity is not the same. So as I ran, I, like, lost I lost my footing, my footing or something, and I fell on my knee, my left knee. I caught myself. I didn't hit my belly or anything like that. I didn't hit like so hard to the point that you know I was crying or bleeding or anything. But I hit my knee. My hip was hurting a little bit, but I got up and kept running. I shut the door. I opened the door back up, and this bug is looking at me. Okay, he's a few feet away, but he is facing me, and I'm like. Oh, okay. See, I tried to be nice to you and I was going to let you go outside, but now I have to kill you. So I went got my vacuum cleaner hose and I start, I turned it on. I start trying to suck him up, but he started turning, he turned the other way and started running. And I was like, oh no, I got you. And so I sucked him up. And that was the end of Jiminy Cricket. Anyways, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but that's what happened. So pretty much so that's been week 35. And I can't wait to see my baby. Time to do the belly shot because now I'm out of breath and I'm hungry. <laughs> here we go. All right, guys. Here we go. And here is my 35 week in a day belly shot of mommy and Bella. Here we go. Okay. This I used to not be able to fit, but now it just fits perfectly with my belly. Here is my belly. My belly button has fully popped out. That's how I knew that my baby grew because my belly button is fully out. So this is the front. Here's the side. And here's the other side of Miss Bella. See? Okay. And that's it. I'm so excited because my crib is here. Bella's grandmother has bought Bella's crib and mattress and all that stuff. So daddy will be here this weekend for the baby shower. And we're going to rearrange my room because Bella will be in the room with us. And um, I have no idea where to put her at. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. I was told not to put the crib by the window and I kind of don't because, you know... I just don't feel comfortable with her by the window. I'm on the second floor, but still. Then I don't feel comfortable putting her, like, up against, you know, a wall where I can't see her. So I really don't know where I'm going to put her at in my room. But we'll figure it out. All right, guys. Week 35. Five weeks to go. See you guys next week. Or in my next video, which is going to be baby shower stuff. Yay!